is a how-to, but it's really just an explanation on fuel pump hot wire. And I'm going to make it short and sweet. Basically, a lot of the cars have problems getting um, the required 12 volts to the fuel pump. So this is a way to get voltage right from the battery through a relay. Um, the relay basically makes it so you don't have power going to the fuel pump even after you turn the car off. Okay, there's two options. There's two main options, Eric's method and then Stealth 316 method. What Eric's method does is there's a low load uh, setting and high load setting. So basically, it'll send lower voltage when you're idling, higher voltage when you're, you know, wide open throttle or high load. Basically, the only issue with that is the in-between. Sometimes people complain about they'll get on it and it'll take a second for the system to catch up and apply that high load setting and get the appropriate voltage to the fuel pump. I did Stealth 316's method basically because I was already having fuel pressure problems, so I want high all the time, and that's what this is going to give me. So to keep it simple, you're basically running a wire from the battery to your fuel pump, and you're hooking it through a relay. It's really easy to do if you can read and understand the basic colors. There's no reason why anyone can't do this. So first off, you're going to just get in the back hatch, go on Cell 316's web, uh, website, and he'll show you how to get to this. Uh, probably the hardest part is running the wire from the engine to the rear hatch. Uh, passing your side through the firewall, and then take the uh, side panel off, run it under the carpet, bring it up under the seat, and get it here. But basically, just to run through, we have and you'll see it on the schematic, it's coming from the battery, that's where this wire is coming from, and there's a 30 amp fuse back close to the battery that I wired in. That goes to um, number 87 on the relay. Then we have uh, the ground, that's going to 85 on the relay, and that's just hooking into one of the bolts on the fuel pump. Then we have the black and blue wire is the only wire you're going to cut. You're going to cut in half, and we're going to run the harness side, and harness side just means the side that has the plug. So the wire coming out of the plug um, goes to number 86. And then the after cutting in half, you have a wire that goes to the fuel pump, and that goes to uh, number 30. All right, good luck.